In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do all the config changes on the new Steam layout. Everything like auto jump, super glide, tap sheriff, and W tap sheriff as well. Everything's gonna be in this video. So make sure you watch through the whole video without you know wasting any time. First thing you need to do, make sure your controller is enabled on Steam. You wanna plug in your controller and then go into the big picture mode in the top right. Then you wanna go to menu and then click settings and then go to controller and where it says external gamepad settings, click enable for your specific controller. I have a PlayStation controller, so you know, I put for PlayStation. If that didn't work, you can try right clicking your Apex Legends, go to property, go to controller, and make sure it's enabled right here. Once it's enabled, you should see this control layout setting. You just wanna click it. I got comments saying that like my config is like confusing, so I'm just not gonna put a link to it or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna do it as like default binds. So I'm gonna create a new layout right here in front of you. To do that, I'm gonna click, you know, the arrow icon, go to templates, and then just click the regular gamepad controller. And you wanna click apply layout. I also use, you know, the default binds. So the first thing I'm gonna show you to set up is the tap strafes. There's two tap strafes you can use. There's the neo strafe, and then there's the tap strafe that's on keyboard where you just input W. W1 is better for like super glides and jump pads where you continue your momentum. You can just switch directions. But the Neo Shape is better for like fighting and like, you know, 360 on people and stuff like that. What you wanna do is go to joysticks then under left joystick behavior, where it says joystick, you wanna click that and click create a mode shift. Where it says mode shift, make sure you click that and then you click directional pad, should look like this. Make sure this isn't on your like regular left joystick behavior. It will mess it up. Make sure it's a new mode shift. And then you're gonna wanna put the keyboard input to the equivalent of the direction you're going. So left stick up is the W key, uh, left stick down is S key, etc., etc. Then you wanna go into the settings icon, change it to long press, and then go back into the settings Make sure hold to repeat turbo is on. And then I just put all these on minimum. And then you wanna repeat that for every single one. After you set all that up, you wanna go into the settings. And then the mode shift button is the button that's gonna activate it. So for me, I like to use the jump button, but you can use, you know, anything else. Put it on A, boom. Since you're on a controller, not every single bind is gonna work, you know, perfectly. But uh, this is essentially what it does. When you hold A and then inside the air, you can kind of like tab strafe. Uh, the amount you tab strafe can be like, you know, just how, how fast you can do it. If you wanna auto jump on top of that, go to A or whatever button you know you put it on this would be your jump button so my jump button is a i will click add an extra command i'll put the gamepad to a but i would make this one instead of it being a regular press i'd make it a corded press so it says here button cord then for the settings i'll put hold to repeat turbo put it down and then the, the cord button is the button that you have to press for the auto jump to work the button i use would probably be like left stick click once you apply this you go into game. You can see that when I just hold A, it doesn't, you know, auto jump. But if I hold my left stick and A, I get auto jump. You have to make sure that you're pressing the button before you hold, you know, the jump button. Uh, this is pretty unoptimized. You probably wouldn't like, you know, get used, like, get used to this. Maybe you could, I don't know. I can't, these are like insane settings. The second tap strafe setting I'm gonna be showing you is the W tap strafe. Uh, this one's a lot, you know, simpler to set up. All you want to do is go to whichever key you want to set it to. You need to be able to like, you know, figure out what binds you're going to rock. I'm not going to be giving you any binds. I'm going to set it onto my trackpad because why not? I'm going to use the sensor trackpad. I'm going to change it to single button. And then you see where it says click. I'm going to change this keypad to W. And then inside the settings, you obviously want to change it to long press and then long press time, hold to repeat turbo on low. So like essentially when I'm in the air and I hold this button, I can kind of get like 180s if I slide into it I can get a lot more. 4-3 obviously is going to feel like super slow. But you know, on something like 8, you know, you're doing like, you know, insane tap shapes right here. The biggest example I can give is like when you hit a, you know, a jump pad, a lot of people are asking me how you do this. Essentially, when you slide into a jump pad, 
my next jump i'm gonna hold that button and you know you can see i can get like super redirected uh you can use the first one for this but it's just not the same you won't be able to like you know move your camera when you're doing it so in the description there's going to be this file it's going to be the same link i've always used you can check it they modified 2022. Essentially, you just want to drag these four files into your CFG, you know, auto exec folder. If you don't know how to find that, you just want to go to like where your game is at, click properties, go into installed files, and then just click browse. This will show you where your, you know, your installer is. And then you just want to go into the CFG folder. And then essentially you'd want to drag these inside of here. I already have them. So, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back to your library, click properties, and then inside launch options, you want to type this out. Uh, all this stuff is just to make the game run better, but this you want to type plus exec auto exec. Uh, the simplest way to know if you should put .cfg or cfg there or not. When you're inside this folder, go to view, and then you want to tick file name extensions. If you see double .cfg, so you see how mine just says .cfg once, and uh, if I right click and click rename, it just says auto exec. That is its name. Just make sure you know, you don't fuck this part up. This has to be set correctly. You don't need to change any keyboard binds or any in-game settings. Once it's applied and it's working on keyboard, you don't need to change any settings. The F key that was inside the super glide one makes it so that I jump. I call this the activator. This changes another setting on your keyboard or this you know button is scroll wheel. And if I just scroll, look, look at my scroll wheel once you see that my frames are now in 30. And then if I scroll again, it returns. If you want to change, you know, what FPS max it goes to, you want to go to super glide three, you want to go inside super glide three and change this max FPS Do not change this one. Uh, this is just what makes it possible. Essentially, that's the tap shift, you know, that, that's a super glide. Everything I'm doing here, you're gonna be able to replicate on controller. But once you've made sure that it's working on keyboard and that, you know, everything's working fine, you know, you can actually do it. You're gonna need two keys on your controller for this to work. So I like to use my D-pad and my jump button. The jump button, you know, for this example is A. So all I'm gonna do, click setting, click add extra command I'm gonna make a keyboard and then I'm gonna make this setting F that's it and then you want to go to the second keyboard the second key and this is gonna emulate your scroll wheel I'm gonna use the d-pad down you want to click the d-pad down and then you want to change it to your scroll wheel down and then for settings I want to change it to long press and make it so that the hold repeat time is on the lowest and then long press time is on the lowest once we're in game i'm gonna show you uh and now when i you know press my down on the d-pad it jumps when you're on the d-pad you won't be able to get it to 30 frames because the timing the the auto how much it repeats rates is just like almost impossible to catch uh but the super glide still works as you see it still requires timing but as you can see the timing is a lot faster or you know a lot more consistent if i super glide and then use my w key i can redirect that obviously depending on your binds this is going to be like super awkward listen if you want to remove the files you want to go back to that folder and then delete all the files you put in there so the auto exec super glide once you deleted all of them i'm going to go back into game and then you want to go to settings and just rebind those keys I'm just gonna bind my F key to like anything, to like ping. Uh, now when I press F, I don't jump, I just ping. And my scroll wheel should be, you know, set back to normal. Let's say your FPS is stuck and you've already removed the files. You just wanna go to your game, go to launch options, and then type plus FPS, max, whatever, you know, whatever FPS you want. And then you would have to restart your game. And then once you load back up, you know, your, your max FPS would be 150. You have the game on EA, you want to, you know, use the controller config on Steam. You need to go to Steam, click add a game, click add a non-Steam game. And then 
you want to find where your EA app is installed. So then you want to go to browse. I know mine is installed in my program files. Uh, electronic Arts, EA Desktop. And then I'm going to add EA Desktop. Boom. And then I'm going to browse. And then I'm going to find where my game's installed. I know my you know, EA version of the game is on my D drive, R5 Apex. Uh, it's gonna add, you know, R5 Apex, EA Desktop, add selected programs. I'm going to close, you know, my EA and then launch it from the Steam app. Then I'm gonna launch my R5 Apex. You'll know it's working if uh, when you go in game, you press, you know, Shift Tab, you'll get the Steam overlay. My controller works. Also, VC needs to be disabled for this. If your FPS is not changing at all, it's probably because of this. Just put it disable and it'll work. That's pretty much it for the video. If you want to learn how to, you know, go back to the old Steam controller guide, I have a video on that along with, you know, the same exact video, but on the old controller guide. So, you know, all that would be in the description. But if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you left a like, you know, a lot of time sending this, this is like, Know, on its own it's a 33 minute recording editing all that stuff so i really would appreciate it if you leave a like and i will see you in the next video